Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn? In this session we are going to run YOLO V8 on our Raspberry Pi 4 Raspbian OS Bullseye 64-bit version. But before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends thank you so much and let's get started. So friends YOLO V8 is released Ultralytics at least YOLO V8 version and we are going to run YOLO V8 on our Raspberry Pi 4 Raspbian OS Bullseye 64-bit version. For that first you need to install latest OpenCV on Raspbian OS Bullseye 64-bit version. I will mention video link watch video and install OpenCV on Raspbian OS Bullseye 64-bit version. Then for YOLO V8 we need a package so simply open terminal okay and let me make a zoom in this is complete fresh version of Raspbian OS bold size 64 bit version okay I have just installed latest image on Raspberry Pi 4 64 bit version Raspbian OS bold size so I have already installed OpenCV now we are going to install Ultralytics so run the command pip3 space install space Ultralytics okay pip3 space install ultralytics and just hit enter it will install ultralytics on our raspberry pi 4 raspbian os bold size 64 bit version okay which i have already installed that's why it say package is already installed so you need to run the command the command is what pip3 space install ultralytics and it will install ultralytics that's it we have done now we are ready and we are going to create our code so simply open Tony Python ID programming Tony Python ID and I have create here a YOLO V8 folder and I am going to create a new code file inside YOLO V8 so right now file is basically untitled so I am going to save and it will save basically inside save as so pi and as I mentioned I have create a YOLO V8 folder so YOLO 8 and inside that I am going to mention test.py simple click on ok we have done we have our file ready now first we need to call our model so from ultra from ultralytics ultralytics ok from ultralytics we are going to import YOLO import y o l o all the way capital from ultralytics import yellow just save and run okay we are going to cross check if we successfully call our model and as you can see there is no error this is not error basically so just ignore there is no error we have successfully call our yellow model with the help of ultralytics now we are ready and we are going to simply run first by default model okay so we can say here model is just a variable model is equal to our YOLO okay because we import YOLO from ultralytics so we need to call our YOLO so model is equal to YOLO okay and inside that we need to mention by default model which basically pre-trained so we are going to mention here uh, YOLO, YOLO V8, then YOLO V8 and dot PT, YOLO V8 and dot PT. This is the model which we are going to use here. So if I save the code and now if I run the code, it will download a YOLO V8 and dot PT model inside our folder. And as you can see, it's downloading YOLO V8 and .pt model. So done, we have successfully download our model. So if I open folder and YOLO V8, as you can see, this is what our object detection YOLO V8 and pre-trained model. So now we are ready and we are going to simply start a detection. So now what we are going to do, we are going to mention here a model our variable because this model is our model model dot predict 
model dot predict and the source so right now i have connect the usb camera with raspberry pi 4 so i am going to mention 0 0 is basically the index number so let's just mention like this way source then we will get a uh, idea so this is the source source is 0 because i have here only one web camera so i mentioned 0 source is equal to 0 and then we want a frame so we need to mention show is equal to true that's it that's it we have done this is the code for yolo v8 object detection so if i save code and if i run code and friends as you can see this is what a live webcam result and person 89 percentage means we have successfully detect object with the help of yolo v8 on our raspberry pi 4 raspberry nose bull size 64 bit version so now we have detect the object now we are going to use here another function which is basically segmentation so we are going to detect here a segmentation instant segmentation so for that we need a segmentation pre-trained model in next video we are going to detect a custom segmentation okay so we are going to create our own model and we are going to detect object and segmentation for our own custom model in this session we are going to only use pre-trained model so we detect objects now we are going to detect a segmentation so simply for that we need another model so yolo v810 dot pt for only object detection with bounding box now we need a mask we can say we need a mask on objects so for that we need another model which is segmentation so we need to simply mention here yolo v810 then hyphen and seg it will download yolo v8 segmentation model which is pre-trained model so just save the code and if i run the code it will download new model which is lov 18 hyphen seg dot pt so friends as you can see it's now downloading our new model which is for which is basically pre-trained for segmentation so we have done we have downloaded our model And friends as you can see now we have bounding box also we have mask on the person it's live with the help of webcam we are detecting live objects so we have our mask and we have our rectangle means we have a bounding box on our object so we successfully detect objects also we successfully uh, detect the segmentation so now this is for live web camera so now i have here inside folder inside yolo v8 folder yolo 8 folder uh, i have a video file so we are going to use this video file so for that simply source remove zero and we need to mention simply a video file name so vid3.3.mp4 .3 .3 and if i save the code first what we are going to first only we are going to detect the object so for that we need our first model so we are going to remove segmentation so hyphen seg and save the code and run the code and friends as you can see it's detecting objects from our video we have here car bus person okay so we have successfully detect the objects inside a video file here it is as you can see it says the backpack so we have successfully detect the objects so now we are going to detect the mask from same video file so again you will have v8 and hyphen sag dot pt this is what our pretend model for segmentation so just run the code and friends as you can see this is what our segmentation with bounding box so we have successfully detect a segmentation also we have bounding box on our video file so it is really easy we have only write here three lines of code and we successfully detect segmentation also uh, object with the help of yolo v8 version i hope you will learn something from this video and next video we are going to create our own custom model for our own custom object also uh, segmentation so we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye